advice to, to DJs and producers that are trying to come up is to, uh, you know, always be aware of what's going on in the sound, but don't let that over influence you, you know? I put it like this. I think in electronic music, you have the most opportunity to be original and unique because, you know, electronic, you can make any type of sound that you could even imagine and you can make sounds that you could never imagine just accidentally f***ing with a synth you know what I'm saying you can make any type of sound but so I hear this so often you know what I'm saying like like the same chord progressions and the same like just types of sounds that you hear and like so many songs and as soon as like one cool artist comes out doing something unique and it gets big on Beatport the next like 10 weeks of Beatport is all people ripping off that track so I think uh, I think it's really important to if you really want to have longevity and you really want to uh, stand out as an artist you have to come with something original that sets you out uh, from all the other artists you know you just have to do what you feel you know what I'm saying as long as it if it's real to you then it's it's gonna feel real to people. Me personally, I like to just take influences from all the music that I like, not just electronic music. I'm not trying to like go create the next track that sounds like Dead Mouse or the next track that sounds like Skrillex, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make the track that sounds like like Castlevania. That's, that's me, that's what I do, you know? And so, I mean, the other thing that I think is really important for an upcoming producer to understand is like, uh, you know forget that world in your mind where everybody likes your music because it's not gonna happen you know what I'm saying like you have to be okay with people just not liking your shit like so what f them like for every person that doesn't like it somebody else is gonna like it you know what I'm saying you know like I, have, I had a track called nobody gets out alive which was one of my most successful tracks and when I first made it I played it for like a couple of my DJ homies they're like dude I don't know if I could even play that. That shit is crazy because it's, it's, I mean, it's a straight up banger. It's like crashing on it. It's like really rock influenced. But I was like, it, I don't care. I'll play that shit.